Illinois will see UNC this weekend. Right now I'm joined with college football analyst Troy West to break down his picks on the game. And Troy, this is definitely going to be the first true test of the season for Illinois after going 2-0 to start off their year. But last season, after a 2-0 start to the season, Illinois got waxed on the road against Washington. In fact, Illinois has gotten waxed in their last three first road games to the season by at least 20 points since 2012. Is there any reason here we should believe that Illinois would be able to cover eight points against UNC this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think North Carolina is a very over, under, overrated opponent, I should say, and they're overvalued on this spread without a doubt. I mean, North Carolina, you look at their body of work, they haven't done much either. They lose a home game to, to what is looking so far like a, a very pitiful South Carolina team. So I think you're looking at two teams battling it out that are just not good football teams. And, and to be favored by that much, even at home, really does surprise me. North Carolina really struggling to move the football I know Illinois, they are 2-0. They haven't played anybody. They've had a, a disaster of a clubhouse so far for a football team with all the issues with the coaching and, and the effect that it's had on the players. But so far, that team's really risen above all the all the stuff that they've had to go through. So in the end, this is a, a wild card game. I think it's going to be close. I think North Carolina probably wins by a touchdown. But as you said, I've seen it eight, eight and a half. Just seems like a lot of points to give the Tar Heels, who, who really haven't impressed me much in the start of this year. Mm -hmm. And Troy, like you just mentioned, we're not really talking about the top game of the weekend by any means. Two teams that gave up tons of points last season. But these two offenses can produce. Uh, we've got two veteran quarterbacks in this game. The total's at 64 as well in this matchup. Could you see an overplay being of some value here? I originally thought the over did have some value, but if you look at North Carolina and what they were able to do against South Carolina at home, it was hardly anything. They really struggled to put the ball in the end zone, especially when they hit the red zone. So it's kind of a mystery how many points that they really can score. I know they're going up against a much weaker defense in Illinois than they did against South Carolina. But, you know, in the end, that's a lot of points. That's both teams pushing that 30 mark, and I'm not sure we're going to see that. So. Tough game to handicap in the end. If I had to put a lean on it, I, I'm going to look at probably a 35-28 a North Carolina W, but too close to call on the spread and the total. College football analyst Troy West, thanks again for the insight. And Troy, you take on all these lines all week long, any game we throw at you, uh, but you find the ones with great value and you put them up on allplayswin.com, right? Absolutely, yeah. We typically are going to find anywhere between one and four games, and we've had a ton of success doing that. I really encourage people to come take a look at allplayswin.com. I truly, truly believe it's a breath of fresh air in the handicapping industry. Thanks again, Troy. Thanks, guys.